<laughs> Welcome back to Lasagna Boy, or the Gorefield Game Boy game. We're continuing where we left off of uh, needing to go to Whiskers on the first floor and cutting off its tongue to complete this project. The one of the things I want to do is see if this thing changes when we leave the room and come back. Let's see if he up uses the bacon. Bacon, bacon will upgrade it, apparently, you know. So let's see. Yeah, he... What the fuck is that? It's like some Cthulhu-esque fucking three-eyed cat alien. Sure. Wong. Gore field or... Sorry, I mean whiskers. You, you still there, buddy? Of course not, you're gone. At least I killed him here, but he's not here, you know? So, where is he? My guess is he's at the front door eating the lasagna. Also, I'm gonna get, try to get some plus one lives first. Also, move my mouse cursor. You guys don't see the mouse, but it's just blatantly on the screen. is kind of annoying. Where the fuck is it? If it's not by the lasagna, I'm kind of concerned. Oh, God. Yeah, he's right here. Okay, how am I the beating? It's got a piano on its fucking back. He's gonna be crashing everywhere? What? A sword? Oh, I got it. Cat tongue, got, got your tongue. Oh, oh. I, I get the joke. Cat got your tongue? I think that's the joke. The, the sword came from... Um, on the, on the upper floor, um, there's a second floor balcony, and there's the sword and the shield. That's what dropped on him after he banged the wall. But yeah, looks like I got the cat's tongue. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, I'm just stealing jokes from that one sexual, sexual lobster video. Good times, good times. What will happen? Floor five, Professor! I have the tongue you want that will somehow just complete this giant, because he's not complete without a tongue. Aha, the cat tongue. The final ingredient. Now you will see my creation. Well. Well, he didn't like you very much, apparently. Hey, access card. Thank you. Can I... Okay. Well, he got uh, pancaked, apparently. No blood. It's PG-13. Okay. 413. It's, it's a good number. It's a good... It's a good, it's a good number. Apparently I'm hidden. I don't know what the fuck it's doing. It's not even Gorefield. I'm disappointed. Unless he turns into Gorefield. Swipe, swipe. Oh. What's up, dude? You walking closer and closer, man? It's almost like uh, Yoshi's Island with uh, Bowser Jr. getting closer and closer. And some saying it's nightmare fuel. Hmm. Is he honestly getting closer? Let's measure it. Like, uh, Let's look at his arm. Yeah, he's definitely getting closer. Okay. So we need a missile here, huh? But I, I want to die to him. So I can get all deaths. I don't know. I'm just going to stand here and wait till something happens. Because... Obviously... I want all deaths. Because as soon as this video is done... Obviously, we need an all-deaths compilation before anyone else does it. So, uh, I'm gonna skip ahead until it actually kills me. Because I swear to God, he is going to eventually kill me. His arms are moving. It's either a trick? Or maybe he's not anymore. No, he, he shifted a little to the left. Yeah, I'll help you. I'm, I'll be right here in the center. 
I don't know if you'll actually kill me or if... But I want to find out. So, yep, skipping ahead. Alright, I'll wait a long time. He's not done anything, so fuck up. Shoot him right in the eye. Or we miss. Good job, us. Well, let's pass him off to make it so he wants to eat us or something. Maybe that is what we can do. Alright, so do I need to change the trajectory or just keep shooting? Okay, that is... Three times the charm? It's like, it's not, it's not intimidating, you just... Oh, 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 right in the shoulder? Yeah, looked like it missed, okay. Four times the charm. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if that hit his cheek or not, honestly. What am I doing wrong here? I think even stormtroopers would be more fucking accurate than me right now. Jesus Christ. What, what, what am I, what? Levers? Levers? Or maybe I have to wait for him not to stomp and the stomping is ruining it. Let's see. Uh oh. Well, that hit his nipple. That definitely hit his arm and it did nothing. I think this is meant to portray that. Okay, hit him in the dick. Good job. I think it's meant to portray that. This is a hopeless situation and I can't kill him. Because otherwise I... This seems to be doing absolutely nothing. How about two missiles? No? Oh wait, maybe... Oh, I'm... Oh, I direct them after. Oh! Oh, that's cool, okay. Bam, hell yeah, okay. Master controlling now. Okay, okay. I gotcha. No, no. It wasn't going left at all. Okay, let's, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hell yeah, no, no, oh shit, Jesus, where are you going? I hit him in the eye again. He's not really in a rush. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh yeah. Okay, his eyes open again. Oh, oh, can I get in all deaths now? Uh, he's gonna smash this thing. Oh, what, what? Eh, closet! 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 Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Wow, that was lame. That was the same death as the fucking... The fucking second monster, just without the sword swipe. That's lame. Get rid of that fucking eyeball. Get out of here. Or... Okay. Hiding in a closet will obviously save us from a death ray from his fucking hand. That's how... That's how closets work. These closets, I don't know what the fuck they're made out of, but whatever. Oh jeez. Oh yeah! Might need two shots. No, well, I guess it's just gone. More just it's damaged, but it'll still be used. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, nah. Like, the special effects and the noise is awesome, but the death animation is just lame since it's just a rehash. 
Oh, come on, that was close enough. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna do both hands, okay. Yep, two hands. Oh god. Okay. They expect me to kill him with the delaying tactics of two mega beams, okay? This is going to take a while. Yeah, I can only do one missile at a time now, shit. I don't know. The ear rape. What, what, I, don't, I don't get the point of there being two the exact same attack. It, it's just... It's a delay factor. There's no, no other... Oh, God. The, the missile also being that random of... Okay. It's what I definitely complain about, is delay tactics by indie game developers when they put something in a game deliberately to stall the game to make it seem longer. And the missiles sometimes being extra extra fast or extra, extra random really doesn't help, because I can only shoot one missile at a time now. Because I don't have full control of the missiles, they sort of wiggle on their own, making it difficult. Come on. Yeah, able to shoot two missiles, come on. Uh, there we go. Two eyes. He's being extra slow right now for some reason. Yeah, that, that missile was just not capable of moving any more to the right. It was impossible. Oh my... Come on. Yeah, this missile is for the right eye, then. It, 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 only, only, like, one of them will randomly be far enough. Only one missile that is rapidly fast is going to be capable of hitting that eye, but I have no control over which missile type it is. Like this one. This might, yeah, yeah, wait, no, no. I'm holding the right arrow key, it doesn't go that far, so not that one. This will take a while. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh you're kidding me, that was so close. And this one, I'm holding the right arrow key, it only goes that far, right to his horn. That is pathetic. Come on. This one, yes. This, but, but look how spazzy it is! It's too fast! Uh, now, besides the delay tactics, this is definitely a uh, RNG factor now. Because they don't give me the same missile every time. This one actually has the... There we go! If it's that fast, goes far one... Oh, oh geez. Fuck. Triangle key, what the fuck? Master key. If it was one of the missiles that weren't slow, could go very far, it zigzags a lot. You have to be pinpoint as fuck. Status hidden. Oh, just... It removed it for the boss fight. Alright, well, he'll probably come back as some disfigured enemy. If not, then I'd say that's a ruined potential, because if it's trying to mimic the popularity of Gorefield by... Stompy? I can't remember the original dude who is more infamous for making the art of Gorefield and the GIFs. Or, or GIFs, depending on which one you prefer. Um, for popularizing it, and this guy's obviously making a game based on the popularization of Gorefield. But, 
it's missing the gore. You can't have a gore field with or gore field as a concept, even if it's not gore field and it's whiskers, but you're missing not just the trademark art style, but you're missing the gore. Like things had to look grotesque. The only thing that looked grotesque was the first enemy, but that's because it's based off art of other people. All these other enemies are clearly made by the developer, and they're just a three-headed fucking bulldog. A pig from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And a cliched anime demon with three eyes and laser beams coming out of its hands. Those, The first enemy people obviously admit is the most in tune or attuned enemy that sort of represents a Gorefield-like opponent or character. Everything else clearly is made by then the developers' creations, and they are not even similar in any fucking way. There's no gore, there's no intense artistic integrity, artistic anything. It's just a three-headed dog, a fucking big pig, and a cheesy demon made by bacon, a tongue, and a heart. Uh, hopefully I'll be proven wrong. It is just beta. The developer has tons of time to make it so the beta turns into a fantastic, gory final game. But it's missing the gore. Even if the game's not called Gorefield. But we clearly know what is meant to be tributing. So, yeah, developer, make things more gory. If it doesn't have gore in it, it's just, people are going to shit on it. I, I can tell people are going to shit on it whether I, you know, ma mock it or talk shit about it or not, but yeah, let's try to leave now. I'm sure the cat's still alive. Whiskers. <sighs> let's, see. let's see if we're just gonna beat the game. The final episode. What will happen? Will it be anticlimactic or will it be climactic and spooky spooky? You're just gonna come after me, aren't you? You're just gonna be like, and you're just gonna chase me, come on, do it. If I just leave, it'll be like, and Lasagna Boy lived happily ever after, albeit a little traumatized, but he never ate lasagna ever again. Looked like Filthy Frank for a second. Oh. Special thanks to these users at freesound.org. Yeah, special thanks to Lumpy Touch for inspiration. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Special thanks to all the YouTubers who made the videos and streamed the game. And finally, thank you for playing my game. Wow, I no no one got a specific name. Wow. Please press escape to the return. That's disappointing. Now that's disappointing. It's just a repetitive mess. And as I said about the monsters, it's just. It's just as is. The, all the other enemies are very uncreative and lame as fuck. And hey, one thing that was really fucking weird to me was the fact that my first video is almost like at 200,000 views. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Uh, see, you could argue, unless someone else, like, I don't know if anyone else has, has as many views in the game. I'm gonna double check, because honestly, 200,000. I was expecting for that video, maybe 10,000. But it's just continued getting more and more views, probably because it is Gorefield, a Game Boy-esque game. But I don't know, let me double check to see who's first on YouTube search. I'm kind of curious now. Well, it looks like... Mm. It looks like my video's at the top, and then some other guy named Zamos with 3.5k views who uploaded it later than mine, not earlier than mine. For some reason, they're first place. I have no idea why. Hmm. Oh well, but mine is seventh, second place and third place. Um, and then Lumpy Touch's own videos of Garfield Game Boyd, part one out of five. I think then I could say I contributed the most to advertising this game. Besides Lumpy Touch's videos itself, which sort of would do that automatically. Nah. Yeah.
You're welcome, developer. I'll toot my horn just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. But other than that, um, unfortunately, I'm disappointed in what has become of the game after the demo because it's... I mean, it's a beta. You have a lot of time to polish and make it so you revert all the things I've criticized. Make the monsters less stupid. A three-headed bulldog, an oversized three-headed bulldog, an oversized pig from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then an age cliched, non-gory, uh, repetitive overall game, but also repetitive delay tactic style game last boss, it's kind of boring. And then uh, you just escape, that's boring. You, we need something awesome, like, you know, end of the world shit. That's what Gorefield is sort of about. It's like, it's an escalation of whiskers or monsters getting out of control, they're hungry, and the world is going to end. Him just escaping and that's it is kind of lame. People expect things to escalate from one to 1,000 very quickly, that's, I, I think, unless I'm just interpreting it wrong, I'm going to presume that's how a lot of other people feel. Other than that, I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm just going to say I hope you enjoyed this game. Again, it's in beta, so who knows, maybe in months or a year, maybe two years, the game will be completely different, and the developer will still have worked on it and made it super awesome, and it'll deserve more praise. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Bye.